Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series on the Pandas library in Python. And today's video is actually a continuation from last time when we were talking about the Pandas index. So today we're going to talk about the series index and as well talk about alignment. So if you haven't watched that first video, I would go ahead and watch that now uh, and then come on back here. Okay. So we are going to start with the same data set we used last time. So we'll import pandas as pd. And then uh, we're going to use this data set of uh, alcohol consumption by continent, or sorry, by country. So we're going to read CSV, and it's bit.ly slash drinks by country. Okay. And we'll take a look at the head. And uh, just like last time, we saw in the, that a data frame always has an index right here. Okay, And what I want to show you is that a uh, series also has an index, okay, and it comes from the data frame. So if, for example, I select the continent series, and I say dot head, you will see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the index for the series, which came from the data frame. So the index is on the left and the values are on the right. Now, let's pretend that uh, we didn't use the default index for the data frame. And instead, we set something else as the index of the data frame. So let's say, for example, uh, drinks.setIndex, and we're going to set the index as the country. Uh, in place equals true. And let's take another look at it. And we see that the country has been turned into the index. Okay. So now, what's going to happen when we select the continent series? Okay. So drinks.continent.head. And this time, we're seeing the same thing as last time. Okay. The index is on the left. The values are on the right. This is just a panda series. The real contents is this, but the index just came from the data frame and is attached to each row. Okay. Now, you've actually seen series um, many times before in these videos, and uh, they all include an index and you probably just didn't notice it or notice what it was. So for example, if I say drinks.continent.valueCounts, this is actually a series. And as such, uh, and let's just copy and paste this, uh, as such it has, for example, an index. And here it is. And it has values. Now, because it's a series that is output and not some special value counts object or something, we can uh, actually use the index to select values from the series. What I mean is uh, I can take this and I can refer to an index such as, uh, let's say, Africa. And I put it in brackets, and I'm saying from this series, find the index Africa and show me the value. Okay, this is kind of like how we used dot loc uh, with the data frame to say, oh, I want to pull out the contents by referring to the index and the column name. In that case, here I just say what's the index I'm looking for? It's Africa and it shows me the value. And again, this worked because this is a series object. Okay. Now, next I want to talk about sorting. Okay. So uh, again, pasting that. And do you remember how you can sort the values of a series? Uh, we saw that in a previous video, and you just say dot sort values, and that sorts in ascending order. So now you can see that the series is sorted. Okay. But what if I want to sort the index itself, say in ascending order? 
I can actually use something called sort index. Whoops. And there you go. It's now in ascending alphabetical order. Okay. So in the last video, we talked about three reasons the index exists, and it was identification, selection, and alignment. And so I want to show you what alignment means. Um, and for that, I need to create another series. Okay. So I'm going to call it people. And I'm going to say pd.series, and just follow along with me here. I'm going to pass in uh, 3 million and a list of the numbers 3 million and 85,000. Okay. And I'm going to pass, I'm going to say index equals and pass a list uh, Albania and Andorra. And uh, I'm going to say name equals population. Okay. So this is one way to create a pandas series. And let's just look at it. Uh, so the population of Albania is approximately 3 million. Population of Andorra is about 85,000. And this is how I constructed the series. I gave it the values, I gave it the index, and I gave it a name. Now, this is my tiny data set. Um, and let's say I want to use this plus the drinks data set to calculate the total beer servings for each country. And I'm going to do that by multiplying these numbers, so the number of people, times the data in the beer serving series, which tells you the average per person. So I'm going to take the average per person, multiply it by the number of people, okay, to see the total beer servings per year in that country. So all I'm going to do is say drinks dot beer servings, which by the way, I'll just remind you of what that looks like. Here's the drinks dot beer servings. I'm going to say that times people. And when I run that, check out what happens, okay? Obviously for uh, countries that were not represented in this series, uh, it's gonna say, well, I can't do that math because I need, I need the number of people. So it marks it with not a number, which is, means a missing value. However, for the ones in which it does have the population amount, it does the multiplication. And here's the thing it aligned them by the series. It didn't just take these two numbers and multiply them by the first two rows. It found Albania, 3 million, and multiplied 3 million by the beer servings number for Albania. Andorra did the same thing, okay? So that's, uh, in summary, alignment allows us to put data together and work with it together, even if it doesn't, uh, if it's not exactly the same length, as long as you tell it which rows correspond to which other rows. So I took the Albania data here and the Andorra data here, and it knew to do the math because they shared based upon this shared index. Okay? So, uh, I want to uh, end today with a bonus as always. And uh, the, the question I would pose is how, if I just wanted to take this people series and add it to the data frame, how would I do that? And I'm gonna use a method called pd.concat, short for concatenation. Now, concat can be used to concatenate rows uh, on top of other rows or columns next to other columns. And the way we control that is with the axis parameter. So um, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna pass it the, I'm gonna pass it a list with the drinks object, which is the data frame, and the people series. And I'll say axis equals one, which means essentially put these objects side by side. And when we do that and say dot head, Check that out. We've got a new column, and even though it didn't have complete data, 
it put the data in the right spots because of the series index. And that is the beauty of the automatic alignment that pandas does using the index. Okay. So that's it for today. Please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'll be talking about the multi-index, uh, which I know some of you want to hear about in a future video. Uh, let me know in the, que in the comment section below if you have any questions. And that's it. So um, thanks again for joining me, and I hope to see you soon.